Today we gather here to pay our respects to a remarkable individual who dedicated his life to the service of Park Town Boys High School. Isaac Mokoro wasn't just a member of the support staff, he was an integral part of the school community, a beacon of humility, and a symbol of perseverance. I first crossed paths with Isaac back when I was just 13 year, or a 13 year old boy starting at Park Town, navigating the corridors of the school for the first time. From that very moment until his last day with us, Isaac always embodied humility and a willingness to lend a helping hand. Despite his unassuming nature, he commanded respect from both students and staff alike. Reflecting on Isaac's tenure, he yeah, brings to mind the dedication of individuals like him who have committed their entire lives to the school they themselves were never able to attend due to the oppressive political climate of the past. It serves as a strong reminder of the strides we've made and the work yet to be done in ensuring that every young person has an opportunity to access to education, regardless of the challenges they face. It remains my wish that no one will ever be excluded from attending part-time based on their circumstances, but rather that of the value of hard work, resilience, and willingness to be the best version of yourself. Then you will be given that opportunity. A lesson to all you boys sitting here today. Don't take what you have at part-time for granted. There are hundreds of thousands of boys who will never have the opportunity that you have. And I hope that this serves as inspiration to be better and to get out there and make use of the amazing opportunities you have at part time. Isaac himself faced numerous health challenges, which will be touched on later. But through it all, he never once complained. And even after being in hospital numerous times this past year, he was always worried about the ensuring ensuring that he got back to work as quickly as possible. Though Isaac may never have worn our school blazer, in his passing we unequivocally recognize him as an esteemed member of the Park Town family and a true legend of our school. To Mr. Makoro, their sons Justin, Vincent, Tobiso and daughter Portia and his, his six grandchildren, we extend our deepest condolences and our thoughts are with you. To his brothers who are still with us, to Alfred, who is with us today, and to Petros, who has already travelled through to the Popo, we stand united with you as part of the Park Town family. And your loss is felt wholeheartedly by all of us. Alfred asked me just to say a few words on behalf of himself and the family. I want to thank all of you for coming to celebrate the life of my brother. As a family, it was, difficult. it was a difficult time to face its reality. It broke our hearts to lose him, but he did not go alone. For part of us went with him the day God called you home. He left us peaceful memories, his love is still our guide. Our family chain is broken, and nothing seems the same. But as God calls us one by one, the chain will link again. As we bid farewell to Isaac, let us take solace in knowing that he is now free from pain and suffering. May his memory be a source of comfort and inspiration to all of us, reminding us to cherish every opportunity and overcome adversity with grace and resilience. Rest in peace, dear Isaac. Your legacy will forever be etched in the halls of Park Town Boys High School. Your spirit will continue to guide us forward.